Seventh grade, unit six, lesson 19. Illustrative mathematics, expanding and factoring. Problem number one. A, expand to write an equivalent expression. We will use the distributive property to multiply negative one fourth by the two terms inside the parentheses. We can rewrite the expression as negative one fourth times negative eight X plus negative one fourth times 12y. For the first term, a negative times a negative is a positive, and 1 fourth of 8x is 2x. For the second term, a negative times a positive is a negative, and 1 fourth of 12y is 3y. So now the expression reads 2x plus negative 3y. b. Factor to write an equivalent expression. We're going to look for a common factor that we can write outside a set of parentheses. So let's look at these two terms, 36a minus 16. I think four is the greatest common factor, so I can put a four on the outside of the parentheses. Four times nine a equals 36a. So the first term inside the parentheses will be nine a. Next, I can bring down the minus sign or the negative sign. And since four times four equals 16, this second term will be a four. So now the expression reads four on the outside, nine A minus four on the inside. Problem number two. Lynn missed math class on the day they worked on expanding and factoring. Karen is helping Lynn catch up. A, Lynn understands that expanding is using the distributive property, but she doesn't understand what factoring is or why it works. How can Karen explain factoring to Lynn? Since Lynn understands the distributive property, Karen can tell her that factoring is the distributive property in reverse and that factoring takes a sum of terms and makes it into a product by writing common factors outside the parentheses. B. Lynn asks Karen how the diagrams with boxes help with factoring. What should Karen tell Lynn about the boxes? Kieran can tell Lynn to think of it like this. What times the common factor equals what's in the box? C. Lynn asks Kieran to help her factor this expression. Kieran can use boxes to help Lynn factor the expression. Kieran can start by writing the three different terms inside each of the three boxes. Next, they can find the greatest common factor of all three terms and put that common factor on the outside of the boxes. They could try using negative 4x as a common factor. Negative 4x times y equals negative 4xy. Next, negative 4x times 3z equals negative 12xz. And for the last one, negative 4x times negative 5w equals positive 20xw. Now this expression would be written like this using parentheses. Problem number three, complete the equation with numbers that make the expression on the right side of the equal sign equivalent to the expression on the left side. The greatest common factor is 25, so we can write 25 on the outside of the boxes. 25 times what number equals 75a? 25 times 3a equals 75a. 25 times what number equals 25b? 25 times 1b or b equals 25b. So the new expression would be 25 on the outside of the parentheses and 3a plus b on the inside. Problem number four from seventh grade unit four lesson three. Elena makes her favorite shade of purple paint by mixing three cups of blue paint, one and a half cups of red paint, and a half a cup of white paint. Elena has two thirds of a cup of white paint. A, assuming she has enough red paint and blue paint, how much purple paint can Elena make? The information tells us for Elena to make her favorite shade of purple paint, she needs one and a half cups of red or three half cups of red, three cups of blue and a half a cup of white. But it also tells us she has some extra white. She has two thirds of a cup of white. If she made her normal batch of purple paint, she would make a total of five cups of purple paint. 
But if she were to increase the amount of paint that she uses to make the same shade of purple paint, how much paint would she make? Since two thirds of a cup of white paint is four thirds times larger than a half a cup of white paint, then we'll end up making four thirds times the original amount. And since the original amount was five cups of paint, this new batch would be four thirds times larger than five cups of paint. Four thirds times five or four thirds times five over one equals 20 over three. So this new batch would make 20 thirds cups of paint. B. How much blue paint and red paint will Elena need to use with the two thirds of a cup of white paint? One half cup of white paint times four thirds equals two thirds cup. Three cups of blue paint times four thirds and one and a half cups of red paint times four thirds. That's 12 thirds cups or four cups of blue paint. And the red paint is three halves times four thirds. That's 12 sixths or two cups of red paint. If Elena were to use the two thirds cup of white paint, then Elena would need four cups of blue paint and six cups of red paint. Problem number five from seventh grade unit six, lesson nine. Solve each equation. A. Add four to both sides. That cancels out the negative four on the left side of the equal sign. And on the right side of the equal sign, we can write it as 32 over eight or 32 divided by eight, which is equivalent to four. Next, we need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative one eighth, which is negative eight over one. That cancels it out on the left side, so we're left with one D. And on the right side, we have a negative 29. So D equals negative 29. B. We need to get rid of 5 from both sides. On the left side of the equal sign, the positive 5 is canceled out. And on the right side, 16 minus 5 is 11. Next, we need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of negative 1 fourth, which is negative 4 over 1. On the left side, it cancels it out, so we're left with 1m or m. And on the right side, we have negative 44, so m equals negative 44. C. Add 45 to both sides. The negative 45 is canceled out on the left side of the equal sign. And on the right side, we have positive 2. Divide both sides by 10. On the left side, it becomes 1b or b. And on the right side, it becomes 1 fifth. So b equals 1 fifth. D. First, we're going to use the distributive property and multiply negative eight by both the terms in the parentheses. This becomes negative eight times y plus negative eight times negative 1.25 equals four. In both cases, a negative times a negative equals a positive. So now it reads positive eight y plus 10 equals four. We want to get the y by itself, so we subtract 10 from both sides. Now we're left with negative eight y equals negative six. We want to turn that into one y or y, so we can divide both sides by negative eight, because negative eight y divided by negative eight equals positive one y or positive y. And on the right side, we have a negative divided by a negative, which is a positive. So y equals positive six over eight. And six over eight is equivalent to three fourths, which is equivalent to 75 hundredths. So y equals 3 fourths or 75 hundredths. E. Use the distributive property to multiply 3.2 times s and 3.2 times 10. That becomes 3.2s plus 32 equals 32. Subtract 32 from both sides and you're left with 3.2s plus 0 equals 0. Divide both sides by 3.2 and you have 1s or s equals 0. So in this case, s equals 0. Problem number 6 from 7th grade unit 6 lesson 13. Select all the inequalities that have the same solution as negative 4x is less than 20. When we divide both sides by negative 4, 
we have to switch the inequality sign and it becomes x is greater than negative 5. Let's take a closer look at a. Negative x is less than 5. Divide both sides by a negative 1 and then we have to switch the inequality sign so it becomes x is greater than negative 5 which is equivalent to the original inequality. Let's take a look at b. 4x is greater than negative 20. Divide both sides by 4 and the inequality reads 4 is greater than negative 5 which is also equivalent to the original inequality. c. 4x is less than negative 20. Divide both sides by 4 and you have x is less than negative 5 which is not the same as the original inequality. Let's take a look at d. x is less than negative 5. That is also not the same as the original inequality. e. x is greater than 5. Well that's also not the same as the original inequality. f. x is greater than negative 5. Yes, that one is the same as the original inequality. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, you can watch the next lesson. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.